All right, I wanted to I wanted to stop and start again because we were doing the. I didn't set the ticker before we started. <laughs> Don't mind me uh, talking about shitty Sonic movie. Uh, I Jim, mean, it could surprise all of us and be actually pretty good. Jim Carrey is a shitty Eggman, but damn, does he look good? He <laughs> no, he's not Eggman. He's Robotnik. That's right. Egg, egg becomes America. <laughs> despite the fact they dropped enough. despite the fact they dropped Robotnik, like. Well, they can't call him Eggman because they didn't make him fat. It's just he skinny like little Jim Carrey. D- put him in a fat suit. Yeah, Come on. Fat. You know what? I would have loved to see fat suit Jim Carrey. Yeah. That would have been... It's perfect for him. Like, otherwise, you'd be... I think, I think personality-wise, you'd make a great Eggman because Eggman's best when he's at his wackiest. Yeah. They didn't even give him a good mustache. It's just like a human-sized mustache. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, it's not going off the sides of his face. <sighs> who, who, by That's the way, unrealistic. You, you didn't tell me, uh, by the way, who who's the buddy cop version? Is it a... Who is it? Oh, I just... I, I... Okay, so so we're, we're talking so much about Sonic, I put Sonic Heroes in the... <laughs> Oops! <laughs> You know what? Fuck it. Let's just let's just play. Let's just go. Turn the mic down. I right, should we do heroes or we were gonna do Kingdom Hearts? Was the uh, plan? We were going. To, fuck it. We're in. Let's just let's do Sonic Heroes. I, I I mean, obviously it's on our minds. So whoops. It's fine. We'll do Kingdom Hearts next time. Mm. Hey, hey, what's up? Yeah? You know, uh, some people lose a lot of money on their films, and some people gain money. They don't, uh, the Sonic d- uh, director, or people work on it, don't see that. Instead, they see the people keeping their money, and they think, You're too slow! We lose money fast! Yeah. Uh, actually, no, it's not King Hearts, it's Sonic Heroes. I had some, someone was asking about when we were gonna do Sonic Heroes, so that's probably in more demand. Yeah. At least a little bit. Nobody's, nobody's wondering when we're doing the next Kingdom Hearts. It's just gonna, it's just gonna be us talking about Disney. It's gonna be, it's gonna be Sly Cooper all over again. We'll get to Hollow Bastion like a year later. (laughs) You know what? We're, we're, at least we're actually playing Kingdom Hearts like once. Yeah. So Kingdom weird. Hearts 3 the f- came and went. Like, no one's talking about it anymore, right? Uh, they released an update which added a secret ending. Oh. Okay, hold, hold on, hold on, just a sec. People were talking. Okay, we're good, we're good. I, I adjust the delay, because we're not doing PS3. <laughs> Didn't know what you were doing for a second, but... Uh... Why did you give me the control? Am I playing what? again? <laughs> or, or, I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. It's a beautiful day out. I'm in a decent mood. Yeah, that's right. We got the sun out again. Yeah. Oops. I'm I full. just turned it on again. I'm full of chalupa. PS3 is on. I repeat, the PS3 I'll, I'll, is I'll on. I'll turn it off. No, we're not watching anime right now. Close the anime window. Just watched uh, the <laughs> Wuxia. Well, not really Wuxia. The Hong Kong martial arts episode of, of Teen, Teen Titans. The that's the one. You will never Ro- find the true master. The, that's the one where a martial arts expert like beats Robin up and is like, "You, you want to defeat me? You have to go to the true master, just like I have." That's right. And then Robin's like, "Okay, I'll go find out the true master." He, he goes. He sees a statue of like a great warrior who ends up being. <laughs> he thought he was the true master, but uh, he meets an old woman farming turnips and is like, and, and is like, "Ah, the true master wouldn't want to train you." He's like, really? I've, been, I've come all this way. He's like, she's like, well, just get up the mountain before sundown. Where are we at? 
dolphin. There we go. And there's a chat too. Oh! Everything's good. Sonic Heroes! Sonic Heroes! Oh, I, I had something for this. Oh, well, I'll, I'll do it next hero stream. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we're on file one, and what was I gonna- oh yeah, I've gotta shut the PS3 off again. Are you doing that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's a very specific go... controller fuck up. So we- we left off in the middle of Sonic Story. Yeah, we're only 34% of the way through. Because we haven't had a ton of time to devote to these, we haven't done the one story per stream thing. People are people were saying that uh, that Sonic uh, oh, you that can do, Sonic you can, you can do this level. It's, it's Casino Zone. Yeah, it, that's uh, people were saying. Oh, Sonic Forces, man, that's that's pretty shitty. But then people are like, oh, you want to see shitty? Let's watch the Sonic movie. Yeah, <laughs> it's just it's the that Mario it's the Mario movie all over again. It's made by people who've never played a Sonic game. You know what? I will say, at least the, the Mario movie was charming. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. At best, it's gonna be like the Mario movie or like the, the Street Fighter movie again. And the only reason to watch it's gonna be the villain's performance. Just Jim Carrey. Who was the guy who played uh, M. Bison? Uh, Raw Julia. That was the dude. Uh, yeah, he was... He took the role because, uh, because his, uh, he was, like, he could only realistically, like, make one more movie before dying. And, like, and his daughter was a Street Fighter fan yeah, or something? Yeah, he's like, yeah, you should do the Street Fighter movie! And he's like, okay, I'll do it for you. And, and he, he ended fucking up made and that he movie. he gave it his all on that! Like... No, uh, no, Knuckles. I oh, know. It was weird. Yeah, that's right. I, I forgot that that was a mechanic. Because Knuckles glides. As opposed to straight up flies. That's different. Apparently, it's, uh, it's a Sonic 06 that starts using the, well, between Heroes and Sonic 06 is when they start using the four kids cast. Ah. I don't know where Shadow the Hedgehog falls into that. I think it uses it. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, man. Which, I think that's the one that has Lanny Minnelli as, Ro as Rouge? I'm not positive. I know it's the one that has, uh, that's the one with Lisa Ortiz. As, as, as Amy. Amy. No, 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 shit, no, no, Shit, shit! Oh, we're fine. <laughs> Lost. Don't fall in there. What happens if... No, Tails! No, Sonic! Oh, they're fine. We got the key, so don't get hit. Oh, do we? Cool. I got hit. It's okay, we still got it. At least he had like a free hit or something. Okay. Oh, that only. St I, I why tails? can't I hit them? Tails, maybe? God, just flying enemies in this game are the worst. Is it because it's, like, armored? It's too tough for Sonic? You know, Sonic's terrible at breaking through metal. <laughs> Sonic, historically, has never been able to break through metal. It's been his kryptonite. He can swim really well, though. Yeah. <laughs> this track's pretty hardcore. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. That's, uh, that, that, that's what uh, we do with the, like, Sonic Mario trade-off game. Is that Mario can swim but can't break through metal metal blocks? Sonic has no problem with them. Yeah. He just shreds everything Mario would bonk his head on. Also, he can move faster and Mario can jump better. Yeah. Because uh, I will say, Sonic's better as like a speed game. His platforming skills aren't the most accurate. No, so Mario's the better parkour man. Yeah. Well, I want to get in the center. Mario's better at climbing. Yeah. Like, you see him in Odyssey, the shit he does. <laughs> I- I cannot wait to play Odyssey, we need to- we need to start Galaxy soon. Yeah. God. Oh. So- so next up on- on that- on that- yeah. Oh, man. Odyssey really- like, Sonic really did outshine, uh, Sonic- or Mario- yeah, Mario outside Sonic. Like, uh, in like the aughts. 
in terms of like gaming. Yeah. Just. I mean, Mario's always had a history of like really good mainline 3D platformers, but his, we're talking on the on one of the discords. It's just his no 2D presence anymore. Just all the new Suit Mario Brothers game are just the same shit. Yeah. Remember when uh, when Nintendo used to try to make all their games unique, kind of to a fault? Yeah. Yeah. Now, now they're not making... not new Super Mario Brothers. That's the one series they don't care about. Super just... Mario Maker is fine. That'll be the thing to replace it all. Put out a new new SMB just every two years. Just make a make a few more bucks to keep us afloat. But you know what? As uh, uh, new Super Mario Brothers did give us on a long enough timeline. What? That was it. Thanks, Jack. <laughs> what? Bring that back. <laughs> what? Bring it back. Did yeah. she ever leave? She never really left. She just well, that's not really Nintendo creation. That's uh, it spawned from Nintendo creation. But the Peach Head. <laughs> it became more popular than Peach Head. It Let's, did, yeah. It mutated into a form that more was more comfortable for the. But that's like saying Nintendo gave us Mama Luigi. <laughs> Speaking of, oh shit! I I fucked up. By the way, I lost the key. Yeah, I'm you sorry. did a little while ago. Apparently, I'm assuming this was an actual post. I didn't click the link. Yeah. Uh, you remember? You remember the Emoji Movie? Oh yeah. Are they making a sequel? Worse. <laughs> How's that worse? What? Wait, worse than making another movie? According to this link, Sony is 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 working on a memes movie for 2020. And it was just like all, all the all the meme faces, but rendered in 3D. Jack Jack is, is face palming. Is is Sony gonna try? Is Sony gonna do it? Is he going to? Is, is Sony gonna try to kill memes? Just well, I we need to destroy it. The memes are getting out of control, and then they're like, it's okay. I I will shoot it through the heart. Did, did they kill emojis? Did. I, I don't see kids with poo emojis anymore. I sometimes see it online. But is Sony is Sony actually doing some psyops on the internet? It's like it's okay. We've we've killed the emoji movie now. We killed emojis. Now we're gonna kill memes. The 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 no the no uh, zero approval gambit. <laughs> <laughs> what we do may not be liked, but under the surface, it's very necessary. Meme Requiem. <laughs> Just hear Mozart's Requiem playing <laughs> as you see, look at screenshots of the meme movie. Oh, God. <laughs> the... <laughs> but I like Jojo memes. I don't want them to die out. S here, let, that let was me, what made that Sonic thing so funny. Let like, me see if, let me see if the image is thing. still on the Discord. Upgrade. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> the meme movie. There, this is actually called. I mean, it looks like a clickbait article. I don't know. I, it, it, I, I would believe it. Should probably continue playing. I, I, I... Hello, Anvar. It, wait, there is a... Hold on! Okay, There's here. A... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Jack is now distracted by the meme movie. Oh, no, there's okay. another movie, and it's called Meme. Yeah? It's from 2018. It's about a young woman who searches for an owner of VHS tape. Yeah? Yeah. Hold on. Oh. Uh. So I'm going to say, uh, you, you were you were caught in a lie. Yeah. Uh, that that's a fake uh, article. Darn. I mean, yay! I. <laughs> memes are safe. Does that, it sound that unbelievable, though? I. You know what? I believed it when you said it. So that says more about Sony than than about me, honestly. Don't believe everything you hear. Don't believe everything you read on the internet. No. That's a lesson that people forget. Yeah. Like... <laughs> Even us saying it doesn't make it true. At all. No, like... 
Sorry, I just, I was just, you, you sent me down a loop. Like, I wouldn't have been able to beat this level now. Yeah. I would be too focused on, like, well, fucking meme movie? So we were, we were planning to do Kingdom Hearts. We started by ti was titling the stream that. Then we just ended up stop talking about the Sonic movie so much that I accidentally put Sonic Heroes in the ticker. So here we are. <laughs> I mean, you said before the stream, stream, fuck it, we're gonna be talking about that the whole time anyway. Yeah, yeah, because... I... The trailer dropped today. Yeah, and predictably people are like, oh, fuck. Jim Carrey as as Eggman, well, not in an offense. Kept... You, should, you should look up the image of that if you haven't seen Carrey as Eggman. <laughs> sorry, Robotnik! Sorry. He's, he's fucking Eggman now, like... Phone, cooperate. There we go. Jim Carrey, Eggman. Doctor Robotnik. Hold on. God, the homing is not great in this game. <laughs> he, he, he looks like a southern fop. A southern fop? <laughs> yeah, I can see it. <laughs> the, 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 the fucking Burt Reynolds mustache. You were really underselling the mustache, honestly. Like, I imagine it would, but they would, could, it wasn't like crazy, but that's a, that's a glory, that's a nice dash. Goggles are a nice touch, too. Uh-oh. What happened? It, it's doing the thing. Oh, is it? <laughs> well, uh, we'll probably do Kingdom Hearts tomorrow. He looks good, honestly. Like, the last time I saw him, he looked like... Oh, eight. no! Did I hit quit? start to exit the menu, and it, oh, it did the thing that it was on. Darn. We have to start the whole level over, don't we? Yes. You know what? This is this is a better image of Jim Carrey as, as Robotnik. Yeah. Yeah, that looks, be that looks way better. The photoshopped one? Yeah. Here's how you broke. Uh, <laughs> this is just the fucking broke woke meme. <laughs> we uh, we spent the weekend recording something that wasn't a stream, so uh, we missed a couple days there. Yeah. The... We'll have we'll have more time now though. It took yeah yeah it took two days. It did. You it won't took our notice. Two stream days. <laughs> you just fucking. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> the enemies did not need health bars in this game. No, I, 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 I've mentioned this before, I don't agree with them giving uh, enemies health bars. That really slows the pace. Yeah, you don't, in, in the Sonic game you want everything to flow smoothly. Like... That's a that's a weird change, but you know what? It it doesn't kill the game for me. The game still largely plays very well. Yeah. So, except for the rails, I still can't forgive this game for having shitty rails. The homing attack is notice is I I notice is less accurate than the Sonic Adventure Two one. You think, you think they gimped it so that to give like other uh, like characters more fighting like uh, capabilities? I guess maybe. One. It might have also had something to do with the fact that enemies have multiple, have hit points. Because you can't, uh... Like, if you mash it, then it's gonna, it's gonna, like, uh... Keep going on the same enemy is maybe what they were trying to prevent. Oh. So they, like, altered the way the homing works? Yeah, it does, it does slow it down when you're, uh... Oh. When you're having to stop at like an enemy and hit him like multiple times. Yeah. Yeah, bingo. Oh, is that what we're doing? We're, we're playing bingo. Oh shit! No, I want my bingo. No, I don't get my bingo. Hey, we got one bingo. Go left, right, please. You cannot control this at all. <laughs> no. Some weird control decisions here, like, on the... I don't know how, like, the control on this works. 
Like sometimes it wants to go one way, and you just can't stop it. Sometimes, and sometimes it's just. Sometimes it just goes like the opposite of the direction you're pressing. Yeah, you noticed that too. Yeah. What if we stop the roulette wheel? What? Ain't gonna fall off, no sir. Yeah, I mentioned that I uh, that I saw like a uh, guy talk about Sonic Forces, right? Yeah. And uh, you know what? I don't think it's the worst Sonic game. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that would be a medal of achievement after some of them, namely 06. 06 and Boom are, 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 are the bottom two right now, I think. Yeah, is, is Boom, like, very, very poorly received? Uh, that was the- that was- I was making jokes about CryEngine, that's why I was. What? What the fuck?! Wait, what's going on?! Are we going in reverse?! I don't know. Was that- was Boom the one where it had the, like, pause and Knuckles could jump forever glitch? Uh, that was boom, wasn't I, it? I think. Hold on. Jump, pause, and jump forever. There was a there was a knuckles jumps forever glitch that you would accomplish by uh, pausing the game while you were in the you were in the air, and that would reset your jump. Knuckles jump glitch. Sorry, yeah, that was that was the one. So there was a lot of boundary breaking happening in that. <laughs> yeah. I will say that I feel like. Uh, Sonic 06 is, is like, a worse game because of just, just not, nothing really worked in that game. Yeah. Okay, I have to, I have to see, actually see some Sonic movie footage. I don't, I didn't watch a whole lot of that. I know, I'm more intimately familiar with Sonic 06, so. Yeah. Sonic Boom could still be a worse game. I didn't know Sonic Forces is, is pan mo a lot, largely because of the writing. There's a lot of really weird, gross humor in it. There's like yeah. a very edgy, weird villain. That was the that was the one in which uh, in which somebody said, "Oh, Tails has completely lost it, and Sonic's being tortured." Yeah. <laughs> and and just they're talking about like war, except they're not really acting like they're in a war. They're not like showing or acknowledging. acknowledging it. What the fuck? It's like Minecraft live. <laughs> okay, I know what's happening. So I switched characters while I was in ball form, and I guess Sonic never left up there. It was, I was just Knuckles this whole time. Oh, this is a way that I can get bingos. <laughs> is this intentional? I don't think so. I'm supposed to be able to like come back and get more numbers? No. Try it again. I switched to Tails. But Tails is not selectable. How's this gonna work? <laughs> Got it. Yeah! Third one! Third attempt! I think. Well, this is the furthest ahead, I think. Oh. So we went back to- we, we just went to go twice, and then we returned to Knuckles and regained our progress. That's not a speedrun- that's an anti-speedrun thing. That's yeah. something speedrunners want to try to avoid. <laughs> I got it. Nope. Eggman's robots never give up. Robotnik's egg bots. Oh man, it's at times like this that I kind of wonder what Star Wars would have been like if it was just a game only thing, and if they had to make a movie out of it. Yeah. That'd be a weird alternate timeline. Just, she's just a bunch of like shitty Star Wars movies uh, straight out the gate. Yeah. And them not really getting it, they make Darth Vader silly. Yeah. Like Sombra. Som? Oh, you mean, uh... Oh, yeah. yeah. That's Sombra. There's a bunch of Sombras. Are there? Uh, La Sombra, uh, a pro wrestler. Uh, Sombra, the Overwatch hacker. Oh, that's right. That is a thing. I see crossovers of, like, her and Pony Sombra. <laughs> okay, that, I, 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 that's a thing now. Cool. I get it. They're both the same character. Or not that they're not. Now, if I s I'm not gonna switch to someone else, or I'm gonna have to do this all over again. Oh, this part. 
How does this work? What the fuck? It's just a tube. Okay. Isn't this fun? This is the scariest fucking pachinko machine. Yeah. This is what Mobian gambling is actually like. You want to just race down the fucking... Enter ball form. Oh god, you're scaring the shit out of me I'm right now! I'm trying not to die! I know! I... Okay, we made it. Uh... Bingo! Oh, oh, no, we're not done yet. Bingo! Yo, Bingo! What's his name, though? Oh, that's like a, that, that's like a, a motif from one of the Sonic Genesis games. Oh, uh, is it? Is it a? Uh, it doesn't sound like a. I don't remember which track, which uh, music track it was from. No. No, it could be Flying Battery. Three hundred seventy-four rings, by the way. Holy shit! Yeah, we went to Vegas and, we're, and we got loaded. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, hey, good, good news. That's fine. You're, you're not. Oh, that's that's more efficient. Here, hit the thing. All right. <laughs> I could have just done that. <laughs> Sometimes the only way to win is to give up. I bet, I bet you in Shadow Story, that's not there. The, the, the spring? Yeah. And you just fall to your death? Probably. A D-rank. You can do boundary breaking yes, with that. The, the character swap mechanic. <laughs> you can intentionally toss an AI character into the void and then switch into them after they pass the kill lines. <laughs> so, I will say the 3D Sonic games may have some, like, good design. Like, uh, like, out of, like, you know, but, uh... But I will say... That they're that they're completely broken from a mechanical standpoint. Usually, yeah. Fun design. Which right? is weird because when Se Sega also did F Zero, and that was a very like solid game without really any glitches to speak of. Yeah. I mean, it, it still had that trademark Sega very silly acting and writing and everything, but. But you know what? It was on rails. That's why I want to say because Sonic is not really on any kind of rails. Because it, it's a racing game? Sega knows how to make racing games, that's yeah. what I'm saying. <laughs> they, I would say they excel at it. Get it? Just... I, I'm just gonna say that uh, as far as like... Oh. As good as I'm sure it will be, I don't think a, a Sonic kart racer will ever not be silly to me just by virtue of Sonic being in a car. Yeah. Sonic needs to be in a car. No, he, or, no, he doesn't need to be in the car. He just... He doesn't need it. Like, he can just run really fast. He's li intentionally limiting himself. Well, I get that, but then what's f the fucking point of playing Sonic? No, I'm saying I agree with you. Oh, what the fuck? <sighs> Gets stuck on the roof, you know. This game's fun, but it's mechanically... <sighs> I wish it was more stable. Yeah, if this didn't have, like, forward and backward, if it wasn't trying to use 3D controls and you just moved left and right, this yeah. would work a lot better. You know, like Sonic 2. Things I don't like to have to do. Try to fight with the controls of a, of a, of, of like a racing game. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, you're... you're yeah, you need to mash uh, boost more. You just hold it and it, it uses your boost. I thought if you mash it... That's all, that's what I always thought about. Like that's how that worked. F zero, no glitches, very good physics abuse. I, how, how do you mean physics abuse? Th that was a fe those were features of the game. You needed those to to succeed. I just realized something. I saw what? a picture of Jim Carrey. He wasn't he wasn't wearing any glasses. Uh no, he just had the goggles, no glasses. He Otherwise, you couldn't know you wouldn't know that it's Jim Carrey under there, and then you couldn't sell the actor. What the. F We gotta have name value. I don't know who the cop next to Bob starring with Sonic is, by the way. Guess I'm gonna have to uh, look it up. Oh, it's doing the thing again. 
Dang it. Don't hit start. Play. Oh. Sonic. Three credited writers. Cool. It's always good when a project has many different writers. Uh, is this the guy. I don't. I don't know. Uh, I'm lo no, I'm saying that to myself. Oh. Yeah, this is the guy. Uh, guest starring began his career guest starring in Saved by the Bell, the new class, Touched by an Angel, and Party of Five. Oh boy! He was uh, he was uh, Cyclops in the X Men film series. Oh. And uh, and he was Superman. Is Superman Returns? Oh boy! And is that the one where he turns time back? No, that's an old one. Yeah, that, that is the one. Oh, that is the one. No, no, Superman Returns. Oh, that's the one where he fights Lex Luthor, who is uh, Kevin Spacey. Oh. And then uh, and he also was a uh, was an android in Westworld. Wow. More, most recently, it's a. So lots of bit roles and a couple things like Cyclops. Oh, he was the main character in uh, in uh, Westworld. He's part of the main ensemble. Oh. Oh, he was... <laughs> What's the guy's name? Uh, his name is uh, James Marsden. Okay. Which sounds like a Red Dead Redemption character. It does, yeah. Oh, he was... Okay, he was in a Ghibli film. Oh. He was uh, Prince Ishii Tsukuri in uh, The Tale of Princess Kaguya. Oh. I, I remember that movie. We watched it. I don't remember that. We watched uh, it. Remember the really depressing one? Oh, yeah, that was the one where, like, all oh, It that, wasn't that... Miyazaki, but it was Ghibli. Was it? I thought it was. Oh, well. No, it wasn't Miyazaki. I, I, I gotta say, I, like, I admire them keeping to the theme they were going for. Depressing, yeah. Or just, just the art style. Into the Grizzly Maze? What? Incomprehensible oh, Grizzly Bear Maze? Originally titled Red Machine, then changed to Endangered, and later to Grizzly. Hey, you got him. Believe in GX, you can grind into walls in a specific way to gain speed? I don't know, I don't know about that. I know that snaking was a thing in GX, and uh, there were points in the game that you would have to damage boost yourself on uh, explosives. That's not good. Are you... I couldn't get to the ring fast enough. Sonic was too slow. He kept getting... Oh, Billy Bob... <laughs> into the grizzly... <laughs> Incomprehensible grizzly bear maze. Can we hit Eggman? Uh... I think... Do we need to hit him? No, I don't think we can. Yeah, one damage. So this guy drew the short straw on having to star in a Sonic movie. Yeah. He was the only one who would take it. How much money? But yeah, let's let's just be clear. Uh, Jim, they intend for Jim Carrey to, uh, to star in it. Alright, it was... Screenplay by three people, story by two people. What? Wait a minute! How's that work? It took two people to come up with this concept. A buddy cop alien Sonic the Hedgehog. And three people to write it. Four producers. Four people paid to make this happen. Uh. Three of them are Japanese. Yeah? And one of them, Neil. Who the fuck is Neil H. Morwitz? American film producer and executive at Sony Pictures. He is a found. He's most known for uh, I Know What You Did Last Summer, I Am Legend, and the Fast and the Furious franchise. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. So Fast and Furious guy wanted to make a Sonic movie. <laughs> you know what? I'm sure he thought he'd be. 
Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it fit in. Wait. I am legend. Okay. Okay, so he's got to start in horror. Moved on to more horror. And, uh, and then decide... Of course. Alright, who's Patrick Casey? Patrick Swayze? He often collaborates with writer, director, actor, Worm Miller. Worm? Who names her kid Worm? Oh, sorry, Josh. Wait, did somebody vandalize it? Call him Worm Miller? He is best known for his work on the Fox animated series Go On the Insatiable. That's a thing? What is. Rings, please! The fuck these is this? fucking turtles! Go on the Insatiable is a demigod warlord who reigned in the dimension of Gurkul with an iron fist before he was summoned to Earth by the goth daughter Dylan of the Beekler family in the small town of Oak Grove, Minnesota. So Beetlejuice? <laughs> Beetlejuice, but with Kenpachi. Okay. That sounds like... These fucking turtles. Okay, I need uh, to save my team blast for them. Sounds fun. I'll give it a watch. Um, I'm not sure... I'm not sure what this has to do with, uh... Oh, uh, was Gangster's Paradise in the trailer? According to Onvar. Wait, Gangster's Paradise? <laughs> yeah, I told you that. The, the rumor was that the opening shot of the movie was to that song. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh... Those are the only people who were... Oh, directed by Jeff Fowler. Yeah? Uh... Has he done anything? What else has he done? What else has he done, you said? Yeah. As director? Yeah. Go for Broke. Nothing? Or is that a name of a movie? Yeah, that's the name of a short film that he did in 2004. Oh. And then, and then so, it was, uh, Go for Broke. Not Go for Broke. Go for Broke. Oh. And then, he, and then after that, he did... He did, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay. This is his directorial debut. Oh boy. You poor bastard. <laughs> and of course the studio is gonna say, well obviously it's his fault. Well, I mean, may maybe it is. I don't know how, how much of the... I don't know how many of the decisions were his. I can't even attack well, him from well, above well, or I get sacked. It'll come out. Maybe he'll blame someone else. Maybe the executives will try to deny it. Maybe... There'll be actors who will like, well, this director was incompetent, or this director was trying his best. Yeah. Well, well, I'm sure it'll come out. Music by Junkie XL. Who? <laughs> this dude. <laughs> Look at that face. Yeah. Kind of looks like your dad. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He looks. He looks more like a beardless uh, J Jim Rogan. Uh, not Jim Ro Seth Joe Rogan. Seth uh, no. Rogan. No. Uh. Hey, shit. shit. The, the 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 new stoner comedy guru, Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen, yeah. He looks like beardless Seth Rogen. I guess. Here we go. He's best known for working with Hans Zimmer on uh, Man is, Man of Steel and Batman v Superman: Dawn of Justice. Oh for oh fuck you! It's a good uh, good oh, resume. God. Let me let me tell you about the about soundtracks that I don't remember at all. Yeah. The like superhero soundtracks. Uh oh wait. Nope. He is redeemed. He did the score for Mad Max Fury Road. That was oh. a good score. Too cool. No turtles. Fuck the turtles. So at the very least it won't be offensive. the score might not be offensively bad. The low bar, I know. I'm sure it'll be like every other Hollywood movie and will be entirely forgettable to me. This will be released in the United States and in Japan. Uh. Oh, the budget is 90 million. Oh boy. That's pretty low, honestly. Yeah. That's lower than I was expecting. Small town sheriff Tom Pachowski. <laughs> <laughs> Journeys to San Francisco to assist Sonic, an anthropomorphic blue hedgehog who can run at his incredible speeds in his battle against Dr. Robotnik. Yeah? So he's the Chris Thorndike of this, uh, of this story. Yeah. 
Uh. Oh, you know what would be better if it was, you know, actually a kid? Because it's a kids franchise. Yeah, a kid would be nice. Like just just, just have like, like a journey to the center of the earth with Sonic as the tag along dude. No, we need a sheriff right. though to make sure that Sonic stays within the law of like human decency or yeah. whatever. Uh, oh, by the way, they got, uh, they didn't get uh, the usual voice actor of Sonic to do the voice of Sonic. Of course not. They can't sell him. No, they got Ben Schwartz. Yeah? Uh, famous for portraying a dude in, uh, Parks and Recreation. Oh, okay. Yeah. I barely recognize him. He's most famous as an improv comic. Oh. <laughs> okay. That might work for, uh, for Sonic. Ready for rails? Good thing I'm not playing this one. Oh. Uh, and then... Oh, wait! No, he's... He's credited as, as Ivo Robotnik slash Dr. Eggman. Okay. So he's both! Maybe that's just, like, the character name they use in all Sonic properties on IMDb? Maybe Dr. Eggman was is, like, his his, his villain name. That's after... <laughs> we, we get, like, uh, it's gonna be, like, the, the Saturday morning cartoon origin story. Like, in the opening scene of the movie, he fuses with a rotten egg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that would be... you know, the, the relationship between Eggman and Robotnik isn't really too bad. It's Eggman and Sonic and Robotnik? Yeah. Sorry. That's what I meant. Yeah? They're, they're like, friendly to each other. So, maybe maybe Sonic's exaggerating. Exaggerating what? Like, the, like, his, like, like uh, Eggman's origin story. The, the rotten egg thing? Yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Wasn't that, like, shown in, like, the comics or something? Yeah. Uh, okay. That's not his actual origin story. It's just for that, like, particular weird timeline. I think that's the Sally Acorn one, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, Archie comics. Uh. Uh. That happens sometimes. I'm, I'm used to it. Wait. There's a character in it called Crazy Carl. Okay. <laughs> Is it like one of the buddy cops? Uh, no, it's just it's just a, a character. Ow! But you told me to go this way. Wait. So there's a guy who, who appears as a character called Stone, an agent who works closely with Doctor Robotnik. Okay. I'm Agent Stone. So uh, Rouge. Yeah. It's human. Rouge the Bat. Let me guess. Stone likes jewels. So it was initially scheduled for a 2018 release, but they rescheduled it to November 15th. Of 2018? Or 2019? 2019, yeah. But then they changed it to, oh no, we can release it on the 8th, actually. Yeah. Test footage was screened at the Comic-Con experience in Brazil. <laughs> Wait, they didn't even risk it for an American or Japanese audience? They went with, the Bra they went with Brazil? Yeah. Did they think that they wouldn't, like, know what was up? <laughs> Guess what? It received a mostly negative response. <laughs> Imagine. It was like, that's that's the origin of, like, Sonic the Comic is, is the Central Americas, right? Uh, I think that was a thing. It was an unofficial comic that, that actually like took off in the area. I think I think you're right. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, also also Brazil is another like animes and stuff and is really big in Brazil. I think it was also like also the, video games. I think the Central America was, was also where the the rumors or whatever of Dragon Ball AX came from. Oh yeah. Remember that? Yeah, I remember that. Super the Saiyan Five, the white hair. <laughs> Which it was funnier now that now that uh, we know Ultra Instinct's a thing. Yeah. Uh. Oh, go to checkpoint. <laughs> oh, somebody posted a picture of those legs and the text under it that says, "Can't a guy work out?" Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Damn it, this is... 
like the way the games are treated by Sega, you, you would hope maybe at least a movie, but no, it's it's even worse. Again, I can only hope I'm wrong, but, uh, I mean, from what I heard, there hasn't been any reports of, like, you know, production or development trouble or anything. Yeah. Like, from from what little I've heard about it, there, there hasn't, I haven't heard any, like, problems. Yeah. I'm gonna look it up now. Has it been? Jim Carrey, what's it like on the set of the Sonic movie? It's yeah. shit! <laughs> of it. This fucking... He looks like a really bad Muppet. Like... Uh-oh. You know, it's like they're trying to ape the design of, like, Rocket Raccoon or something. Yeah. Hey, that's a popular movie. Rocket Raccoon was cool, though. Like, he looked he looked pretty nice. He looked like, an he looked like, he looked a, like a fucking raccoon. Yeah. Rocket ra raccoon. Remember raccoon. The Remember the Sly Cooper movie? That was cancelled. Cause, cause there's already a, cause... Rocket. He was too sexy. So, from what I see... Oh no! What?! I just, it made me ride the rails guarding the edge. They don't make me ride the guard rails! That's not their purpose! <laughs> you can ride the guard! Yeah, and you'll fall the fuck off! <laughs> I'm just too cool. I can't see a rail and not ride it. I changed my mind. This uh, this game, everybody sloshed. Yeah. Cause Sonic, yeah, I feel like Sonic can usually ride rails really well, but he, because he's sloshed, he has trouble like mounting them. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Oh, ending? Where are you? There you are. Yeah, we're out of here. Uh, yeah, there was a Sly Cooper movie that got as far as having, like, a trailer and everything. And I guess it got, it got, it got canceled partway in production. I think they were pretty far along with it, from what I heard. That's there's, a shame. There's footage of it on YouTube you can find. So, uh... uh they're asking how monetization works. Uh, we don't, like, get money based on viewer counts or anything. It's just... We only get anything at all from, uh... From subscriptions and uh, bits and things. And donations. But, uh... Hanging out as, as a viewer does help us get to a uh, partner, which we need, like, I think 75 average viewers to get, so yeah. that's still that's a ways, a ways off. off. <laughs> but view, the viewers as, as a whole still does help. Oh, yeah, this. How can you hold on to the wall? Oh, I guess I could, uh, I could jump back and forth, like, straight across for a bit. Ah. Pretty tough! Rocket trains. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm not... The only, uh, problem seemed to be with the fans. I, I don't see any news about, like, you know, people, like, complaining or, like, uh... So either it's really tight or there's just no problems making the Sonic movie. Yeah. Either, which means either, at worst, it's probably, like, some type... Maybe no one cares. This, Maybe there's no one on the set who just cares anymore. They're like, whatever, we'll just do what they tell us to do. Oh, man. There's no reason to argue. They all know what they're involved in now. <laughs> oh, God, the fans are gonna hate it. Fuck me. This is just gonna be a paycheck. I hope it's not a... Like, you can take... Performances can can make a bad movie memorable. 
Yeah, but memorable. If not if you're, not if good. If you're not in a position to make a good movie, at least make a memorable movie. Is yeah, what I'm saying. that's the best they can hope for. And you know what? If your if your end result is like some is like semi like uh, dignified memedom, then you know that you, there could be worse things. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm fine. This game is scary. Like. <laughs> Too fast, pits everywhere. Who put those springs there? In very specific locations. What? I had to hold forward, or I would <laughs> fall to my death. Clearly. I like this guitar. Uh, what? What? No! Turn around! <laughs> How'd you this happen? What's the matter? You, you... And Clyde! Fuck the Whoa. bottom part. No, no! Go ah, on! You fucks! Hey, at least you hated to the second one. Yeah. Where do you go, Tails? Straight up. Just here for. <laughs> yeah, most people are, are gonna watch the Sonic movie just for uh, Jim Carrey. Yeah. Who hasn't been in a whole lot lately, so maybe just to return to him as a Jesse Ventura like, larger than life like character. Yeah. That'd be pretty nice. It's so bad it finally got the Sonic fan base to actually agree on something. Yeah. I think most of them agreed on some of the games at least. <laughs> Setting up the Sonic Chew cinematic universe. Yeah. And you just read Reddit comments. Ah, TV tropes. Is this still the first rail level? No, this is the second one. <laughs> I'm gonna I know I'm gonna like plummet myself off just punching. Many who saw the trailer gave their earnest apologies to Sammy Claus classic Sonic fan saying he was right all along. <laughs> Sammy? That's the guy who I said is like Wait, will your fantasies be satisfied, you frickin' pricks? That's okay, that guy. Is that thing, a thing? Someone said that? Yeah, yes. no, that was Sammy Claus, that classic Sonic fan. Okay. It's been memed a whole lot. Oh. When will you learn that your actions have consequences? Yeah, so, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Many of are are already rooting for Robotnik to kill Sonic, yeah. mainly because he's played by Jim Carrey, and Sonic's movie design is considered to be so awful that letting it live could be comparable to Cruel Mercy. <laughs> Damn! So are they, I, I wonder if they're still doing the alien thing or if they changed their minds on that. Because a lot of these aren't mentioning it. <laughs> I... I, I'm, I'm in the Your Mileage May Vary page, which is where some of the more disputed tags come from. Got to oh, go to trivia. Oh, we got some precision. Precision and Sonic. Love oh, it. God. <laughs> or you can just use Fly. That yeah. works, too. It's your safety net. People are already calling it the modern so Super Mario Brothers movie. Yes! Due to being a live-action adaptation of a beloved video game franchise... Which looks and feels absolutely nothing like the original source material. Yeah. Some see the similarities to Sonic X. Yeah, get the fuck out of here! To Sonic X? Yeah, because both works feature Sonic being transported to Earth and teaming up with a canon foreigner human character. That's what people and just bitch about humans being in Sonic X for no reason. What other reason? God, Chris is dumb. It should only be Sonic characters having Mobius adventures. What the... You know what? I feel like that was great because it has a juxtaposition to like yeah. normal people. I say normal people, but the same speed exists. I also explained Sonic Adventure, 
where humans just suddenly appeared. Yeah. Like it's it's even in the games, it's not just Mobians it's, in the it's, world. It's Robotnik. Who I guess might have been a, a Mobian. Mobian <laughs> human Robotnik. Oh, he's stronger, physically stronger than normal humans. Yeah. What up? Oh, what? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so a uh, uh, guy who worked on it, Tim Miller, has admitted that Sega wasn't entirely pleased with their design of Sonic's eyes. Yeah? Wait, the original? Yeah! Or the movie Sonic? The, the movie Sonic. Yeah, they weren't happy with it. I went back so far. The trailer has received a frigid reception. There's Sonic's resemblance to a furry naked child. Yeah. Robotnik's unfaithful and uninteresting design. A lack of any other Sonic characters. And a cringeworthy joke at the end. Of the trailer? Do you have a child in your bag? No. I mean, yes, he's a child, but he's not my child. <laughs> Damn. It's bad up. He's funny. He's funny. Yeah. So wait, Sonic's a child? No, I, 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 I don't. I hope. Is that the implication? The implication. He's a teenage no. alien. No, you see, the teenage alien won't say no because of the implication. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is not looking good. You know what? We gotta see this movie now. Yeah. <laughs> For the memes. We gotta be on the ground floor, like. It's meme, Sonic! Okay, I got some good news about the Sonic voice actor front. Yeah. Uh, Roger Craig Smith approved of Ben Schwartz. Who? Oh, the guy the who Sonic voiced, guy? Yeah, the Parks and Rec dude. Here we go. Well, that's because he didn't want his name on it. Yeah, sure, go for it! Yeah, you can do it! He make took it one cool. look at the, at the, 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 like, artistic rendition of their project idea. And he's like, nah. I'm fine sitting out of this one. Okay, I just realized some. Okay, remember I said how there was no news about production problems? Yeah. Uh, I was news? wrong. <laughs> so, uh. Bumping the mic. Oh, sorry. Uh, I was wrong. Uh, so the film was originally in production with Sony. Yeah. You know, Sony. Good old Sony. Yeah. But October 2017, the production and cast move over to Paramount. Oh, okay. After Sony lost faith in the project. Oh. Due to the you loss, don't say. Due to the loss of their financing partner and executives at Sony not liking where the project was going. Yeah. Because <laughs> so Sony's a game company as well. They know they're they know, they're like they're looking at the project like uh, I don't like where this is going. And rather than meddling with the project, they just decided, no, fuck this. Just back out, abandon ship. Who's- someone's gotta be to blame. Is it just- is it like, <laughs> I don't know! It's either- there's either one person who's just totally fucked up, or else it's just a whole crew of people who've never played Sonic. I, and all... don't care. Sonic, what's that? <laughs> yeah, we'll make it- we'll make it better. Fuck these other ideas. The fuck what Sonic is actually about? Well, no one likes any of the Sonic games, so we shouldn't base it off any of those. Alright. Um, so remember how we said, oh, well, maybe it was Sega that, uh, that mandated all these changes? Yeah. Uh. I was, can, as can, a joke, yes. We can, eight, we can 86 that, too. Sonic's three founding fathers and other professionals who previously worked for the franchise have criticized the direction of the film. Yeah. Uh. Head designer How for Sonic games on the Genesis made fun of the film's first poster on Twitter. How did they, uh... How did they feel about recent Sonic games? Have they commented on those? Uh... I don't... <laughs> like, what are the people who made those saying? Man, you... You know, uh, okay... At least, the, at least those bad Sonic games felt like Sonic games. Yeah, you know, I Sonic guess. Sonic 06 was just a really shitty Sonic game, but it was still a Sonic game. Yeah. Sonic Forces was really weirdly tone deaf, but it <laughs> but it still felt like a Sonic game. Sonic, Sonic Forces wasn't even that edgy. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. 
I know fuck all about it, to be honest. Oh, we're losing people. We're dying. I can no longer steer. Oh. You can't even fucking see the lasers. Up. Oh. All right, over to Jack. Yep. I can't talk about Sonic uh, anymore. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh my God. This. Oh, seriously? No. I, I died immediately. That's what I get for being confused. What? what? Wait, what? No! I'm sorry, what? We're not going there, are we? Yes, we are. I'm so confused by this. Oh, fuck it! Fuck! It! fuck it! Yes, we are going there. I'm back on the ramp. I lost three lives doing it because I, I, I miss. I the rails kept killing me. Yeah. Ah. Oh, by the way, uh, Shu Nakamura, the director of Sonic 06, posted a tweet with just visible silence at the movie. If you want to know about the bad Sonic games. Yeah. <laughs> Yuji Naka, the lead programmer for Sonic 1 and 2, commented that the film appears to be on par with other adaptations of anime and games. He wonders if it will be any good and why that kind of design keeps happening. Yeah. Just like Amer American adaptations. Yeah. <laughs> it's just kind of going, what? It's just tail shouting to himself because everyone else is gone. Why? We are going to make it. He made it. But what? We're on a He's platform! Fine. We can just walk there! What the fuck?! No, it's not cool enough. We got a cart there. Okay, so, uh... You want to, also, uh, you want to comment about current Sega uh, thinking that the, that, uh, that the current design was their fault? It wasn't. Yeah, I was mad. That was a joke I made. I know, I was just saying, no. It, because the Sonic games have been so bad that it could be them thinking they're doing a good Sonic product. By the way, you know what the biggest complaint about about it was? What? What do you think? About the movie? About the, the design. design? Yeah. The eyes? Check out the, the big legs? brain on Zelrog. Or, or, well, could it... I heard, 
I heard more people talking about the big, thick, furry legs. Hey, 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 let me, let's just say that neither change was good. Yeah. Well, let's just let's just say that. Okay, so uh. Oh, I don't think the face is honestly the worst part of it. Face. Like is... the legs are are really weird looking, Wait, and the the did spines. You lose knuckles. I hope he's coming. Oh, he's stuck in the robot. Okay. <laughs> Like, and the, the spines look weird to me. According to story co-writer Van Robicho, uh, Robicho. <laughs> oh, Robicho! Yeah. I'm replacing Omni Chow! Homo Chow. Uh, so, so, Sony was aiming to give the movie a darker and edgier look. Of course! <laughs> Of course they were. <laughs> in the hopes it would snatch a PG-13 rating. <laughs> Not an R rating. Just PG-13. Just edgy enough. However, when the film jumped ship to Paramount, a rewrite of the screenplay was ordered in order to make the film more family-friendly. But with the action-oriented sequences were kept in. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, this movie's doomed. That's not a good... You know, just change everything partway through. It's always a great choice. Wait a minute. The budget was initially set at 100 million, but Paramount reduced it to 90 million. But it was 80 million. <laughs> Which is it? That's a 10 million difference. Frequently clashed heads within Sony Pictures had Amy Pascal. Okay. Uh, the, the the one who uh, a bunch of, who was a like. She was, uh... uh th there were lots of flattering things uh, said about her after the email. Where? Knuckles, where'd you go? I had left him at the switch. Oh. Oh, you have to. Okay, I get it now. So, who, what, what's she known for? Uh... Like, she apparently shit-talked a bunch of directors, and then the emails... The Sony email leak happened, and then, uh... And yeah? And everybody was like... Amy, you, you naughty person. Yeah, one-ups. Oh, wow, that was different. We destroyed Robotnik base. All right. Finally, the level is over. Shoot. Not my day. <laughs> No, it's not. It's not your day at all. Man, Sonic has to be skilled if he's able to go fast in this world. <laughs> Fucking death everywhere. Don't you? I think isn't it? Maybe Mobian's reaction times are like quicker. That's the problem. We're trying to we're trying to control Sonic with human reaction times. See, this this seems to be like a reverse super high. Yeah. It move goes slower the faster you move. Yeah. See, that would be a good idea for Sonic. That's why they're not never gonna do it. Or just being able to control, like, how fast you're receiving time in real time. Yeah. Like, I love, like, Sonic mode. Oh! I found it! Found what? Found the troubled production page. So they were trying to, they were trying to make this movie since, uh, 2014. Yeah. So it's an eight-year-long filming cycle. So yeah, the cyber, the cyber attack happened, delaying it to, to uh, delaying it from 2016 what? to 2018. Sorry, trains, go on. It's fine. So delaying it from 2016 to 2018? Yeah, or 2019, rather. Or the... Well, 2018, then 2019. The, like the Sony cyber attacks? Yeah. The, the, the ones that should, like, release a bunch of emails and stuff. I think, I think it was, uh, revealed that Korea was, was behind it. North yeah. Korea. What? <laughs> Fuck it! Wow, uh, good save! Okay, that's the controller now. Okay. I thought something like telekinesis to me. I thought Sil Silver made an early appearance. Tim Miller, who has just bailed from Deadpool, who had just bailed from Deadpool 2. Oh, <laughs> unlike the Egg Emperor, this one comes back to meet you.
I don't know. This one's like, no, we gotta get closer. Jim Miller is like a director on NLP. No yeah. relation, I assume. No, this is Tim Miller. Different dude. He was, uh, he, That's his pseudonym. <laughs> MGM's original idea for the movie in 1994, wow, was to have a Roger Rabbit effect plot where a 12-year-old boy uses his father's computer to bring his to bring the hedgehog to life from his Sega Saturn. Yeah, Sega Saturn, huh? Yeah, that's uh. It couldn't have been worse. At least he would have been able to keep the design. Yeah. But it, I feel like that's a bit too meta. That's just Fat Albert. Remember that movie? No. Uh, I never... This isn't me, uh, trying to pull, like, a cool guy. I always knew this would be a rubbish thing, but, uh... I was never really a fan of Cosby. Yeah. He, not, not because I found him creepy or anything, I just was like, his humor was too... not humorous enough for me, a, a young kid. I like to stand up and such. Apparently he was very not affable in person, though. Like, he was all business on the set. I... I don't like it when people are like that. Yeah. Like, I work I, I work, but I also try not to be, like, cold. What? Hello? <coughs> God damn it! <coughs> ah, the controller will just keep fucking up. I, you think it's an issue with, uh, with I have no equipment? idea what it's an issue with. We're using an actual GameCube controller. The Dolphin supports that. Well, so I don't know where supposedly. in... Supposedly. <laughs> nothing. Now it's nothing, no. Mm. I don't know where in exactly, at what stage of the, of the connection the issue lies. Oh, I'm looking at all the people who were, like, asked uh, to, like, play the cop role. Yeah. Uh, so. Here's a list. Uh... Jack Black. Yeah. Chris Evans. Chris Pratt. Jake Johnson. Christian Bale. Yeah. Tom Cruise. Ed Helms. Bill Hader. Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. Not not that Michael Jordan, I don't think. A different one. Yeah. Uh, Ansel and Lord Milo. Vince Michelia. Paul Rudd. Jason Siegel and Owen Wilson. Yeah. I could have seen Owen Wilson or Jack Black doing a Sonic the Hedgehog You movie. know what? I would have loved to see Jack Black yeah. uh, like acting alongside Sonic. He would have Sonic. been the guy to do it. He would have been perfect. Jack Black, you could have saved this movie. I guess that would have been too much, uh, like, too, too, like, wacky characters, though. There wouldn't have been a straight man. Well, Jack Black could have, could have been, like, the, like... More, more low key than Sonic. You don't need to be completely straight to be a straight man. You just need to be straighter than the than the than the wacky dude. Yeah. So really, you could have just had Sonic. Act Rails. Like Sonic. <laughs> you could have just had Sonic acting like uh, like fucking Sonic, and then and then Jack Black going, right on, right on. I'll get your chili dogs. Yeah. You know? They're gonna reference chili dogs in the movie, aren't they? They, they have to. Yeah. Oh, uh, they have a, a big list of people who were also considered to play, uh, to play Sonic. Yeah. Uh, Rudd was also, Paul Rudd was also, but also, uh, Josh Gad, Tom Holland, Andy Samberg of, I, uh, of Lonely Island, I think. I don't know any of these people. Uh, you will. Will Forte, Jim Parsons, uh, Charlie Day. Yeah. The Always Sunny dude. Yeah. Char <laughs> Charlie has Sonic. And Adam Devine. Uh... Oh, its working title was called Casino Night. Okay. Yeah, so... I think I've ran out of Sonic uh, movie topics. Yeah. Darn. You know, like I was talking about... I told you I'd be... I, I, I couldn't get it out of my head. I'd be talking about it all day. Yeah. I thought you beat him. Uh, no. I fell off at the last part. Oh, no. Oh yeah, rails! Cool fight, by the way. Spam homing attack, win prize. Oh, that's dangerous. 
Oh, you, you managed to land on the rails. It automatically places you on them in, in cutscenes. Uh. No. No. What an arbitrary game, you know? Yeah. Last life. Not that it matters as a boss level. Yeah. There's only one way to go. Ready? Ready. What is the purpose of this 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 area? Is this a landing strip? We just catch him as he was taking off, I guess. Maybe he's trying to build a highway. The fiend! Not yeah. on our Mobius! Not on our Mobius Earth. This is a nice nice canyon of death. Good old wasteland. We can't colonize the wasteland, then where will all everybody fight? Mobians basically sayings. Hey. God, can you imagine uh, Sonic voiced by Sean Schemmel? <laughs> Goku. Allied good! Nightmare to you! I can picture it, actually. I, yeah. His voice is high enough. He wouldn't be the worst. No. I, I'd say... As opposed to Chris Sabat Sonic. Oh, Chris Sabat Knuckles. Chris Sabat Knuckles. And, and, uh, fuck. Uh, uh Sony, Sony Straight Tales. I was gonna say Colin Clinkenbeard, the Gohan. <laughs> oh, that would be, that's even better. 50%. Oh, man. We managed to get, we're only halfway through the fucking story. I say we, but you've been mostly playing it. Yeah. We're at the worst part, though. We know we know the rails levels. The canyon is the, the peak of the bullshit. Yeah, because the rail again. The peak of the bullshit. If you if you if you are curious and you want to like like uh, try this game out for yourself, just just be just try a rail level and see what we're talking about. Yeah. It is. This game is jank. This game is janky as hell. Yeah, but you, but I you mean, know the, what? the other the adventure games also had their share of jank, but this one is, I agree, is noticeably worse. I, I just, a, a really fully fluid, natural feeling Sonic game just has never happened. It's just the adventures were the closest we got. Or Adventure 2 specifically. Yeah. I heard that Generations was good. I played Generations. I don't remember it being especially noteworthy in any way. What was the deal with, uh, with Small Sonic? Was he just... Did he speak, or was he just not no, voice acting? silent. Ooh, you should look just like me, little buddy! Maybe made, like, a Genesis or ring noise every now and again or something? Ah. Uh. It's weird that they brought him back for forces after that was, like, the main gimmick of Generations. Yeah, they did that because they need a war effort and they need all hands on deck, I guess. Oh, blimps. Very hardy. Very hard to take down. Got him. Maybe it's not helium. Maybe it's like ultra helium or something. Yeah. It's that stuff Shrek breathes. Nice hit. Up! Oh. Laser. Come uh, back, please. Okay, good, you got it right. Ah, then every time! I go there because of the, the sonic power up and then it gets me. You like bosses, you wanna try them? Uh, give me a moment, I need to wash my hands. Ah, Maybe coming down with something, I don't know. Good thing I got three days to sleep it off. Sonic movie, what would be your plot? Uh, I would try to make it 
along the lines of Sonic X in design, I did the same thing again, but I'm in flight mode this time, so it's okay. <laughs> Not necessarily as just like, oh, it's a human kid, and they go on wacky adventures together, but, you know, the season two and three, the good parts. Yeah. Just fuck original plot, Sonic and the Mobians going to space or something. That was fine, it worked for Sonic X. Or maybe if you want to introduce the concept, just have, like, uh... You, I, I would, I would have thought you would, what you would, well, or just a classic, just game plot adaptation. Maybe you like do a plot, like a, a similar plot of a game where Sonic has to go around destroying robots, but it serves as an origin story where, like, I guess you have Jim Carrey's Eggman touching down in an alternate dimension or something. He's like, yeah, I'll colonize this. I'll build robots and terraform it. And then he runs afoul of the Mobians. Sure. And then. It's that, just... that sounds like it would take a lot of screen time to establish. Yeah, you... I think per, I would want Eggman to end up to not be the big the big final bad as he usually as usually happens in Sonic games. <laughs> but he would still be a threat. He would be like a third party who's not really allied with them, like Sonic X season okay. three. Oh man, Sonic's fighting. Uh... Like Who's Eggman that? is the Act One villain, <laughs> and then the, the the real threat is revealed. A real threat then. I don't know. Uh, could be an original thing. Could be uh, adapted from like uh, like Sonic Adventure 2 or something. Original. Could be chaos. Sonic Adventure 1 could make a good movie. Oh, okay. You have Robotnik, right? And yeah. uh, and it's established that him and Sonic aren't on the friendliest of terms, right? And he's deciding to dig to like get an emerald, right? And then, yeah. and then Act 1 is them just trying to fight Robotic and destroy all his robots. And, uh, it's you just... Know, you know, uh, you go on, you finish your thing. You still play, you play up their friendly enemy aspect, and, and and you have, like, maybe you have a scene in, in which uh, Eggman establishes that he doesn't really want it in Sonic permanently because because he finds the rivalry, like, exciting. And then you, that's when you introduce Chaos in, like, Acts 2 and 3 as, like, well, why Robotic shouldn't have fucked with, uh... With whatever he was fucking with. Probably Master Emerald. You know what, I'm gonna be honest, I- Oh, God damn it! <laughs> I, you I, wait, didn't wait, see that wait, coming?! No, I didn't! Every time I miss it! Here, you try. <laughs> sure. Be ready for the controller to fuck up and be ready to pause. I would, uh... I think I would make Metal Sonic the final threat. Oh, Metal Sonic. Oh, like, like... Like, you enter the story with ah, Sonic, damn, and, damn it! Sonic and Eggman having their existing kind of rivalry. Like, you know that they do this all the time. And then then he, he creates something that he shouldn't have. He creates the Metal Sonic. Oh. And it, it, it's fucking insane by design. And it, it, it loses control of it. <laughs> Sonic, I fucked it, up! It, it goes rogue, and it just goes out to, like, destroy Sonic. To prove that he is Sonic! Okay. I agree. That's a that's a pretty good uh, idea. Who would you have voice uh, Metal Sonic? I, Microsoft Sam. I don't know. <laughs> I was gonna say James Spader. Sure. You just get Ultron. Do the Goku Black have the same guy who voices Sonic do it? Oh, Sean Schimmel. Yeah. That's the thing about. Oh you no 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 no. Sean Schimmel, and then uh, Dad Goku as Metal Sonic. Oh! <laughs> like you don't even like, know who that is, though. Like how it's the guy who did Jim from Code Lyoko. I don't know his name, though. No. You know or else uh, whoever Ocean Sonic is, or Ocean Goku is. I don't know who voices him. That's not still Sean Shemmel, is it? Maybe. I'm going to say that uh, that if you're going to be working in movies, you're probably going to have somebody go. No, we need a name. Yeah, they they will do that, and I don't know names, so. Hollywood actors, I, yeah, I'm, I'm out on. <laughs> uh, fortunately, I know names, and I would say that if they mandate a name, I would suggest James Spader as Metal Sonic. Oh. Uh, Red Reddington. Yeah. Yeah, so... Not really doing a whole lot of damage. No, it's like only every third hit damages it. It seems like you're not supposed to be able to damage it there or something. It's not worth it to homing attack. You just jump over them. Yeah, because the, they're just there to distract your homing attack, so you can't move faster. You don't want to move fast in a Sonic game. 
No. Oh. <laughs> I was ready for it. It didn't happen. No, Char Charles would make like the Black Shadow and the aliens from uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh, the final threat. Oh, Black. I mean, Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 both had, like, fully decent plots that could be made into, into movies or what have you. That's not gonna work. You know what? I would say that it, that I would add Shadow in the sequel. Yeah? Uh, along with, like, Rouge and Company. Because I feel like Shadow being in the sequel, you would, would say, No, I perfected it! I cloned you this time! You could just ad adapt Sonic Adventure 1 and it'd be a perfectly fine plot that would make fans more or less happy and it would... It'd be a safe option, yeah, but uh, people like it. No, we need... The middle one has train. There's always that that concept... Okay, so left one is always in the middle and right one uh, is never in the middle. Yeah. Okay. The one where it has the Sonic power-up, that's also always has a train on it. Right, fair enough. There's always the idea that, yeah, you have to, like, reinvent the wheel when you're adapting a franchise, or else make it... We can't just adapt it. We have to make it different enough. Would and you that call usually it a, means really, really different. Would you call it a weird version of American exceptionalism? Exceptionalism? Like, it needs to be exceptional and, like, your own creation and... I don't know. I guess? I don't know if there's anything American necessarily about that. I think a lot of, like, movie makers don't acknowledge that something being in a different medium already makes it a different experience. Also, you have a hard enough time translating something, a concept, into, like, a different uh, medium already. So, yeah. you may try to do that and then also do a completely different plot is going to be difficult. At least, at least, uh, theoretically. Like, I can't think of any, uh, any adaptations that just straight adapted an existing story and uh <coughs> like no one liked it everyone hated it the close the honest th that's isn't that what marvel does they just adapt their comic storylines yeah that's what they do they, they they do adaptations of comic stories they kind of maybe update it a little bit make it so that it's less ridiculous uh then they have to make sure that the movies all flow together in a certain way so that necessitates like well logically if you're gonna do it this way then we have to uh like, but they're not changing shit just for the sake of changing no, it they're massively. Doing it, they're, they're not doing it because they have the a story. reason. There is a reason why Marvel movies are so popular and that... Why did you kill me? Did it just spawn you in the air? Yeah. It did. There's only one way to go. Ready? Yeah. So Wickersham did Sonic Adventure 1 the other day. And it took him eight hours to do the whole thing. I I was curious how long we were run, we had run just to tally it up. Yeah. Uh, Sonic Adventure One took us eleven and a half hours. Oh, so. Or no, it took us eleven hours. Oh, so so we're slightly worse than he is. And uh, Sonic Adventure Two was six and a half hours, so significantly shorter game. I imagine Sonic uh, uh, Sonic Adventure One took so long because of the problems we had with Egg Viper. That Wait, no, that wasn't it. Forty-five minutes. Who's like, what's currently highest in our boss, uh, brick wall category? Uh, bosses? Yeah. Was there one? It was, or level, or like, a specific roadblock. Well, clobber, cl cl oh, uh, well there was, it was beat by clobber carnage, the glitched version. Yeah. That took us two hours. And, uh, then, me, solo, taking that, find that platinum relic in Crash 1, the cut level for difficulty. Yeah. That was like, three and a half or four hours. Well, there you go. <laughs> So I think that's the sink big, biggest single level roadblock we've hit on this stream. Was uh, Crash 1 Slippery Climb, I think it was called. Ah, Stormy Ascent. Ow. Oh boy, I remember when Sonic Heroes came out and everyone was saying it was just utter trash, a failure to, failure to, <laughs> failure oh, just wait to reimagine Sonic Adventure, just worst Sonic game ever. Oh, and then Sonic 06 came out. Yeah. And people had to eat those words. Oh, what the? Boy, it just got Sonic! worse and worse. Oh, no, he came back. 
Retreat! Oh, you're you're having trouble chasing me? Let me come back to you. Aw, oh, damn it. Aw, oh, damn it! No! I'll, I'll take it back if you want me to. I mean, I, let me try one more time. I'm we're just stuck at the final phase because they add those stupid fences. So yeah, you can catch up easily if you just hit B button like immediately. Yeah. You're not dealing damage on the cannon, I know. sadly. Oh! Oh that that works, okay. <laughs> Another move uh, Sonic could have had, but doesn't have in Smash Brothers. Spin tornado thing. Yeah, that's his upbeat. No, instead he just gets two. He gets two spin dashes. Don't take the middle one. <laughs> I gave it back. Back to me. I still say I like this boss. I just don't like the extra shit they put on it. Yeah. With Sonic speed. If it, if it wasn't cheesable by just mashing the homing attack, and if you didn't have to deal with all this shit littering the track that is not the actual boss, if it was just a straight track and you were fighting the boss. I always like it when a boss has, like, multiple things you can hit on yeah. it. Like, because there's, like, bosses that, like, oh, you gotta do this thing to, uh, to like, extend the weak point. It's like, it doesn't feel like a fight. It feels like I'm fighting a Rubik's Cube. Yeah. Uh, oh, I you mean, you mean the, the Mojora's Mask remake? Yeah. Oh, you wanted to approach oh, wait, these bosses they... in different ways? No, here's the one specific way you gotta do it. Oh, did they add that shit in Majora's Mask? Yeah, they did. Oh, and that it's sucks. like every boss has like a big evil eye that split that pops out that you have to attack at that some sucks. point. I like the fact that you could just straight up just fight on Walla. No, nope, you and... can't just sword fight him. There's a very specific pattern you gotta do now. God. They, if they tried pulling that shit in Dark Souls, I, I would I, I would I would have hated it. But they don't. Any boss, you don't really have to overthink any boss in that game because uh, because you can just go up to it and start like hitting it. And you deal damage. Yeah. Granted, you still got a, the challenges in avoiding its attacks, but like you don't. It doesn't feel like. I will say there's only one that hap that that happened. It was like person Greatwood, and it was like he, it was so this outside was so tough you couldn't really harm it. But it yeah. had like a bunch of like uh, stuff you could hit. When you hit it, it did an obscene amount of damage. Yeah. Also, it was an easier boss because you could just avoid all its attacks by just running around it. Remember, like uh, Ganon in Smash Brothers? He has his weak point, but you can damage him anywhere. Yeah. Also, uh, with uh, this boss, I, I like bosses where you can just kind of destroy parts of them as the battle progresses. Yeah. That's a, that's a, that's also a good design. It's a, did you ever fight Engine and Crash? I. Did I? I don't remember. He's like a giant robot, and you destroy him one piece at a time. Hey, you see, that's fun. I don't like it when there's, like, bosses that are like, oh, hey, you can only hit him in this specific part. Yeah, yeah. like, it's like, like fighting titans, basically. <laughs> you can only destroy a titan by hitting a specific part of their neck. Or by yourself being a titan, of course. Is it this scary? Get a are ring, you, please. Are you afraid? Whoa, is human race the titans have come? Who's... Was that Eggman just laughing? Was someone laughing? I thought I heard somebody laughing. Nope! Please! Whoa! Wah! You have better luck trying to aim for the wings on this. I can't get to the wings. Oh, you're, okay, you got it, good. You pay for this. Let him go. Yes. Well, you can't hit hit Eggman as he as he's flying away. He doesn't have a hitbox. <laughs> it's that simple. Eggman, you know you. Thought about that as an idea for a gaming creepypasta once upon a time. Wait, can't I was it. playing Sonic, and this one time, I actually was able to last hit Eggman, and the scene that followed was horrific. <laughs> oh. So he retreated, but his, they left his body. Oh, okay. It was a Doom bot. 
He's able to build this stuff really quickly. He's a mechanical genius. He just like automated everything. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, it's Metal Sonic. He's in this. And now we're in a frog forest. <laughs> the T-1000 of Sonic robots. Get to the forest where the wild animals live. You know, not us. No way off the hook this time. We're civilized animals. Oh god, this is some nice music. Nice, chill music. I would dare say Sonic was good about continuing to have good music up until maybe his latest Forces. Uh, I'm trying to think about... I didn't really pay attention to the music in Forces. I know, the, I know the Sonic Forces tracks we get in Smash Brothers are very, like, uh, very synth voicey. Uh, very, not, not really dubstep, but kind of meh, electronica kind of stuff. I was thinking, you want to make a Sonic fan game? No. <laughs> no. If not... good Sonic fan games led to better Sonic games, then we would have better Sonic games. Sonic Mania. Because there are many good Sonic fan games already out I was there. thinking about buying Sonic Mania, but I don't want to install the DRM. Which means that... Uh, Why? Because well, cause it fucks with your computer. It does? Yeah, that's what I heard. People were complaining how it, like, tanked performance. Oh. Like, especially uh, while well, playing the game. So, what I was thinking, and, no, and nobody try this. I'm not, I'm not, I, I'm not being really serious about this, but you could, what you could do. What? The fuck? Okay, that's cool. Uh. I guess. We're not supposed to be up there? Got it. Welcome to Boundary Break. Got it. Alright, what was I saying? Uh, DRM, Sonic Mania. You could just uh, buy a copy of Sonic Mania and then find a cracked version online and download that. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, don't do that, but I'm saying that uh, that if you didn't want to deal with the DRM. There's bouncy seeds. Oh, we're going that way. We're going this way now. Bunch of cliffs and stuff. Okay. Oh. Oh, to have Dan Green Knuckles. Oh. Soon. <laughs> it sounds like a piccolo, almost. A little bit. I mean, that's always been Knuckles' kind of voice, more or less. Until apparently recently, where, according to Smash Brothers, it's now just, like, high Sonic 2.0. Oh, hello. hello, frog. You are free now. Summon rain, please. Because there's no thing. There we go. I like how, uh, uh, Ego Raptor of the Game Grumps, before he did, uh, Game Grumps, he did, uh, the Flash Awesome series. He basically portrayed, like, uh, like, uh, Knuckles and his cha and the Chaotix crew as, like, a bunch of, like, gangsters. Or, you know, like, gangsters. Like mafia? No, gangsters. Oh, okay. Yeah, man, get ready for the Chaotix, son! Like flash animations? Yeah. Hey man, get ready for a UB seriously? Well, yeah, I'm part of Chaotix! Look how small you are! And then not this huge. Oh, can you move it? A little bit, I can like tilt it up and down. <laughs> that looks so wonky. <laughs> Wiggle my flower! No! Oh my god angry doing that. We're not going 
There are, yes! That, like, that sounds like a similar track from another level. Do the thing! Go we'll fight. Sorry you can't play the game well, bro. Here, have another death. Get good! <laughs> Whoop! Uh oh! <laughs> uh. Hey, you hit it! Oh, you missed! <laughs> this game. This game has the. Has I wanted to turn into a ball, not wind. This has the stability of a Hot Wheels track. Yeah. Hold forward on loops, that's your friends. <laughs> Don't ever let go of forward. Don't input. No, sir. Sometimes you need to hold forward, sometimes it doesn't want you to hold forward. And it's totally arbitrary. You just gotta guess. But the more we play this game, the more we're loathing it. It's... I mean, we have bad things to say about every Sonic game. Yeah. We have bad things to say about every game, more or less. <laughs> no game is truly perfect, and no game is truly bad. It's a good thing that this plant can grow as fast as Sonic. <laughs> it's a Mobian design. Yeah. See, they planted the, the remains of one Sonic character into, into like, the ground, and it became a forest. It became the world tree. <laughs> I didn't use all my strength. Is that what is that what happened to Cosmo? <laughs> I thought we weren't spoiling that. She went away somewhere. She she, she went to. A we'll farm. find her one day. <laughs> That's what they said. I forgot. We'll find her one. We never day. watched the 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 end of Sonic X in English. I wanted to for comparison, but you didn't have you didn't want to do it. I didn't. I didn't want to see that scene again. <laughs> yeah. Nobody. Ow! Egg hey, what kind of robots are they, Tails? Eggman's robots! I, 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 I'm sorry, I, I didn't quite catch that. You want to repeat that? Eggman, no robot! What the? Wait! They're just... I fell into the water. Sure it's safe yeah, that's right, sorry I can't swim. Neither can Knuckles or Tails, apparently. Despite the fact Tails is... Maybe I just, they're not... I don't maybe... want to fight this one. Maybe it's not water, maybe it's oil. Come on. Let go of the ivy when it reaches the highest point of its swing. Thank God I can just ignore the robot. <laughs> oh, like that one? God damn it! Oh. <laughs> oh no, Tails not all these drunk. He's got PTSD. That's a sound bite. They're all dead. <laughs> you killed me once. I'll, I I do really like this track. Yeah. We're probably gonna get through this level and the boss, and that that'll be it for the day. All right, I, I I'm okay with this. Here we go. Here uh, you play. guys get to live. Sonic is not strong enough to destroy robots in a single bound. Not in this game. Nope. He he skipped. In leg later games, he just walks through them. Doesn't he even need to spin. He skipped leg day. Unlike the Sonic movie, Sonic. Hey, Oh no, Sonic's gone! Welcome to the new game, Tails the Fox. I guess Tails did get his own spin-off game. Unfortunately, it was on the Game Gear. Tails, Sky Patrol! So no one fucking knows about it. Even Knuckles got his own spin-off game. Knuckles, the Chaotix. Chaotix. Silver was going to get a debut game, then they realized, oh shit. Wait, it's Sonic's anniversary soon. We gotta do something for it. I wonder if there there have to be like some gems hidden in the in the multitude of Sonic games they churned out, right? This uh, this one. I mean, like, they've got like Rush and Rivals, so many games that were like relatively unplayed, just because there were so many games that no one could buy them all. Yeah. Uh, at least those were platformers on the PSP. I know that. Why am I in flight mode anyway? I don't know. 
Because it's easier to jump on enemies using flight mode than it ho the homing attack thing. Yeah. Going fast is how you die. Whoa. See? I'm glad you. I'm glad that exists though. Oh, that's convenient. Yeah. No. I just don't want to fight the enemies. I just can I move past everything? No. I have you have to face it alone. Are we doing mushrooms now? Nope. Team blast. Not having it. Only Tails learned from that. Was it? Yeah, yeah. I see, he just fell in the water. Sonic's the only one who recognized how easy that was. Oh, hey, a, a real frog. Not like those black ones. Or, sorry, a good, good, damn it. Not like those black ones. Sorry, a regular frog. Take this. Do they know a way through this forest, or are they just kind of winging it? Uh. I don't know. This is Sonic we're talking about. I think he always wins it. Chef Mura. Kept punching that groin, that uh, robot in the dick. Man. If it works, it works, Knuckles. What do we do? We can't defeat this one. You gotta punch it in the balls. Darr! They found my fight, my fatal design flaw. I don't know why Eggman's a pirate suddenly. Oh man, Eggman! <laughs> this song's like, Eggman, why are you dressed up as a pirate? I wanted to mix it up. I wanted to have fun at work. Uh oh. Okay, good. This is so scary. I want you to know this. <laughs> okay, now what? Frog. Hey, there we go. I guess I didn't activate him. You just killed Sonic, Knuckles. We're good. Oh, frog, you, please. They're harvesting the frogs for their uh, natural, uh, like, uh, gardening properties. You use the green ones to grow them and the black ones to get rid of weeds. Yeah. Eggman is just like a, a professional Minecraft player. He just finds all these weird things that happen in nature and exploits them to make all these weird auto-harvest farms and shit. <laughs> and meanwhile, the, Mo the Mobians don't like it because their resource, their land is getting exploited. See, that's how you do a Sonic movie! <laughs> you make it about protecting the environment! I mean, that's, yeah, that's kind of like the theme of the original games. Good old yeah. Mobian vine. Yeah, you make a, a Sonic movie in which uh, in which uh, Ivo Robotnik, uh, known to his peers as Doctor Egg, you miss both of them. Cool rails. The rails. You like rails. Uh, I don't want to beat a dead horse, but the rails are terrible in this game. If you could just home on them. That's too much trouble, though. So I have a Robotnik goes to a to a planet that's like really rich in natural resources and starts like mining it and like taking the animals and like and running experiments on them and building a bunch of like attack robots. Yeah. And then, uh, Sonic gathers up his crew of, of like with, with friends he knows and then like fights Jim Carrey. Yeah. That's how you do. Oh shit! Oh okay. 
Yeah, that's how that's how you do it'd be like a wackier avatar. Yeah. You know on the what? topic of uh, on the topic of Eggman putting small animals inside machines, apparently, originally in the Matrix, the it wasn't humans weren't going to be used as batteries. They, they were going to be used as a neural net, as processors. Yeah, yeah, which makes a lot more sense. Then, yeah, that's what a lot of people were saying. And like, no, but no, people won't get it. People won't know what processors Shoot. are. Not my day. We're talking to dumb '90s computer, like not knowing people. God. It would have been a better plot, though. Yeah. Because it would have, like, oh, we can't use, we couldn't use solar power anymore, so, so we have to. uh... Oh wait. That Hello. Oh, they. That's arbitrary. <laughs> so is this a real shadow or a clone shadow? We don't know. That's a new outfit, extra shiny. She looks like a. Kind of like a magical girl. <laughs> okay, not Gamma. She's got like armor on. Yeah. Fucking shut up! What the? F <laughs> He's going for the classical villain rather yeah. than like those corny animations. I, I think I mean I know we we jerk off about Sonic X a whole lot, but Shadow's uh, characterization in Sonic X was pretty good. He was he wasn't outright antagonistic. He was just kind of quiet. And he was goal oriented. Yeah. He was he was like a John Wick or like oh, Shadow's. No, they're not even questioning how the fuck he's here. I guess Sonic Battle's supposed to be canon. That's his like his first comeback. I have no clue. I don't know. You're only Sonic now, the rest of them are... Oh, they're all dead. Use your wind, wind powers. Annihilation. Did I get him? We have combined our forces to become the most powerful. I'm guessing this is the Team Dark theme. Oh. Wait! What are you uh oh Uh... It's fine, you survive it. Or... You, 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 you survived yeah. it. You gonna annihilate me? <laughs> Annihilation. How do you survive that? Holy... Because he just annihilated the wall over and over again. <laughs> oh, you can't do Team Blast. You don't have... No, the... I can't. Please die, someone. I got rid of the robot. Okay, so that's the rock, paper, scissors. Am I doing it? Go. No, you go. Where are you? Oh, I did it, I guess. You hit Shadow, I and think they just ran off. <laughs> and Rouge is like, well, it's my loss. Leaves. Hey, guys, chill out. <laughs> Radical. Right. To Mondo tubular. They're going. Can't wait for Jim Carrey to be like, I hate that hedgehog. Oh, God. <laughs> well, he's a scientist, right? Yeah. You gotta make him sound nerdy. Hang castle. Okay. This is the same place we left off on the last time. This, you know what? This is just... This is as much of the, the game as we can take at one time. We have to stop at Hang Castle. Which is... This is also a really good track. Buggy. Oh! Maximum kid voice on this level. Yeah. I, I want to say I also like the music for this level. Yeah, mu this game's got good music. It's got a good soundtrack. Sonic generally has continued that, d despite everything else. Yeah, I don't know how Sonic 06's music is. I, yeah, I think it's, it, we, we, they use the same themes, like five different versions of them. I'm talking remember? about the in-level music. Oh, I don't know the, about not, that. Or the actual, like, yeah.
<laughs> All right. Well, that that's it for that's Sonic the so- movie game talk today. Ne- next, time, next time we'll plan on doing Sonic again, and it'll be K- it'll be Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, uh, we'll, they'll apologize that way. Well, <laughs> hopefully, more time next time. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, see you guys next time. See you next time.